Thank you, everybody. Thank you, YouTube world, the planet Earth. Uh, welcome to the Vincent Oshana Show. I am your host, Vincent Oshana. Uh, we have a, a dope, dope show lined up for you guys today. Before we even start, I'm going to introduce everybody that's here in the building. Uh, to my left, as always, on the ones and twos, the very lovely, the very dangerous, she's dangerous, <laughs> Kelly Arnold. Give her a round of applause, everybody. <laughs> Kelly Arnold. Don't you guys love this? The audience is applause. Don't you they're, guys love they're that? They're killing it. All right, and our, our, our two guests that I have today, I met them in the green room of the improv, but we were so high. Listen, <laughs> we don't remember which one. These girls got me so high, and I'm not even trying to be funny. Look at my face. I thought I saw Jesus Christ. Like, I sat in my car, and I was just like, <laughs> I almost called 911. Uh, they have a podcast on YouTube. It's called Two Girls, One Blunt. Please help me welcome the very beautiful, the sexy, the dangerous, Jamie Lee Simmons. Hey, hey, Emily Wade, miss Emily Wade. Emily. What's up, beautiful What's girls? Up? How are you? How are you guys you? doing? We're feeling good. You guys are chilling? You guys, no, she didn't we're smoke before. We're high right now. You're high, that's what <laughs> I was going to say. She, you were in the corner over there dancing. I'm like, she, <laughs> two girls, one blunt. It's not like just a BS title. No. You guys are literally that's smoking. All, I fucking love we're it. Smoking we hot, we're smoking hot. Smoking hot. We're smoking hot. We're smoking all the time, Smoking baby. hot. Did you, that wasn't even planned. We didn't write that. That's just <laughs> natural. That's the weed. <laughs> But uh, so you guys' days has been chilling. Everything, everything good. We've been yeah, running yeah. around, yeah. Fun? Yeah, you went on stage day. for the first time. I did. Last How night. was it? It was so much fun. I had a was great Was it time. dope? It was dope. I got booked for a show Thursday. Let's go. Do you remember? <laughs> She's on the poster. Do you remember? Oh, that's fact. Do you remember what you said on the show? Were you high as hell? I actually went in sober. I think I took like a little bit of a shrooms gummy, like a quarter. Cool. Nice. And then I just went up. It was very scary. The first time is, yo, that's, yeah. some people would rather jump out of an airplane than do that. And I, it's fuck. But, but once it's over, once you're flo like you're doing well, yeah. it feels great. But I'm happy to, oh, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. We're going to talk about a bunch of, I got some crazy ass stories. We're going to go to, we're going to get news from our boy Dodge. It's going to be a good time. You guys ready to, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to get going? We're, we're ready gonna to go. get going. Yes, we're gonna go to our first segment, which is called "What the Funk." <laughs> Did you guys like that? What the? I just I just came up I with like it because I'm crazy. All right, guys. So uh, for people that don't know, Kelly's gonna play a bunch of videos that Maverick and everybody got offline. We're gonna respond to them. We're gonna watch them one at a time, and we're gonna talk shit about these people because oh, that's what we I do. We're that. Americans, all right? So Kelly, let's start rolling that shit. Let's go. Here we go. Okay. Oh, oh. oh snap! <laughs> wait, what was he doing? Wait, wait, go back. Go back. Was Play he back. flexing? Just <laughs> was he flexing by himself? Go back, guys. Oh. He flexed oh, too oh, hard. Damn. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh my! <laughs> Can I ask you guys a question? He flexed too hard. Yo, that, that was I'm a good like, one. Be honest. If you guys see that in the gym, do you help the person, or are you just like camera out? No, you just let him be. You just let you him just be. say nice. You just yell out <laughs> nice, like call it out. <laughs> yo! I just good walk job. away. I did. Yo, you guys want to trip out? In LA, before I moved here, I was doing squats, like heavy as shit. And there's this fine ass girl next to me, and I did it, and my back. Gave out. Oh. Thank God I dropped it. And I laid there, and she had, at least she was nice. She's like, hey, are you good? I'm like, yeah, yeah, just, I'm just stretching. I couldn't fucking breathe, and I low crawled out. Oh. That was horrible. All right, Kelly, let's go. Through the trenches. Yeah, I was in the military. All right, Kelly, let's go to the next one. Whoa. Oh, no. That's. Oh, oh, are, you, oh. are you serious? <laughs> Where's Steve? Oh, are you serious? Here we go. That's somebody's house? Holy shit. No, it's not. <laughs> Run that back. Run Time that out. back. If that, listen to me. That I'm is not. real. You think it's like a little snake, right? Oh, oh holy a huge shit! Python. Bro, it, it, you know what? They're probably ah. like, oh, now we know where Nana went. Nana, <laughs> we thought Nana went back to Thailand. <laughs> the bitch is in a python's stomach. Oh, poor oh. Nana. Damn. Yo, do you Nana. move back in? Hell no. I used to have snakes like that big. That Hell big? No. I, we had like a 20 foot. Boa constrictor. I used to take care of a bunch of reptiles and shit, so I love that. Should I tell them the story? Did I tell you, did I tell you guys the story? No. No. All right, this is gonna have to, have to happen fast. I was in the military, met this girl. We're driving oh, home, and she no. pops this question. She goes, "Hey, how freaky are you?" And every guy's like, "I'm a freak." And I'm like, "What about you?" She's like, "Well, I have a Burmese python that once in a while I let go," and, and I was like, "Whoa." Sounds I fun. go, I, I went, "Yes." <laughs> <laughs> and I walked into the apartment, and I'm not joking. The snake went. The snake oh looked at me like he was gosh. jealous. She let the snake 
go. Yeah. Oh no. Anyway, I'm not joking. We'll talk to. The, we'll talk go about down her later. on her. On Inside you? of her. Oh my gosh. I'm being serious. All right, let's go to the next clip. Look oh at those faces. Gosh. Those are. Here those we go. are. Those are real faces. Go. I already know what the hell's going to happen. Oh, like, what no. is she, what idea. are you doing? Oh, no. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> that was a bad one. What is wrong? Dude, oh, my. Who, why'd you do that? <laughs> that was Maverick. Why'd you do that, dude? Do that again, Kelly, so I can throw up. She hit, she hit the wrong ball. Kelly, do that again so I can throw up. <laughs> oh, my. Like, I hope the guy that's driving that car sees this and Didn't punches him in the face one, after. Though. Oh! And Dude, then the golf no. ball falls on top and of then the it. <laughs> that, yo, he, oh my God, that had to have ripped something off. All right, Kelly, go, because I, I feel <laughs> nauseous. Oh, my girl bought me a new pull-up bar. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh! <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I, look, please, I have oh. to watch it again. Oh. I love those. She's going down. Dude. Oh! <laughs> I feel like she got hit. Oh, oh that, that went into her chin. Down. That went into her oh, chin. Oh, my oh, no. Oh, my God. That's why I have to go to the gym, bro. None of that home workout crap. All right, go ahead, Kel. Oh, my God. Oh, oh what the? F what? what? Wait, what? Wait, what happened? Oh, it's one of those they inflate your, your bed or like a chair. Dude. That's not funny, dude. He could have broke his back. Oh my god! Wait, what just he happened? So they, they put like this, uh, it's an, it's like an exploding airbag underneath your bed, dude. That's like a prank. Look, oh, oh dude, my back is already bad. I want to shatter my back. Oh, it's to, to the, the wall. Yeah. To, <laughs> the wall. <laughs> to the wall. <window. laughs> to the wall. You guys are freaking hilarious. Oh my god. And he's cool. I would have beat the shit out of everybody in the house. Dude, yes, me too. Yes. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay. <laughs> Vinny, that was your bro, role. That's that immediate that, karma. What? That is 100% what you get, bro. I He's love deaf that. in that ear. He's deaf in that ear. I think that's the only time it's you okay to hit a girl. Oh, oh yeah. That, get if, her. Listen, if a cop showed up, wow. I'm showing that and saying, this is why I hit her officer. And they would have been like, yo, you're good. I mean, I got PTSD. It's from the war. It's from the war. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she knows. All right, let's go to the next one. Oh, my God. You got... Oh! You know what? Those make me These happy. These are fucking She's like, great. Look, look, what? Let's listen. Why? Why not put it on one of those stacks that you jump on? Why put it on top of your? Look. <laughs> <laughs> reason six hundred. Why I don't trust men. <laughs> don't trust men, Jamie. That's the reason right there. Cause you know that's what he said, babe. Trust me, I got, <laughs> I got this. You. I stretched. I got yeah. You. Right, let's go to the next one. Oh, this is the. I, okay. Oh no. I, I don't trust this thing. Oh, 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 no, oh. no, no, Time no, out. No, that guy has not. to be dead. Oh. If he's not dead, he's in a wheelchair. I can't watch it. Jamie, don't look. That's so, Jamie, so we bad. have to. Emily, keep watching. Oh, oh. oh. That, was a big oh. that man saw Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that man saw Jesus. And didn't even need no. your weed. That, <laughs> that, I, I'm not going to sleep tonight because of that dude. Oh, dude, he folded in half. Oh, oh. No. All right. Oh, 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 oh. One right, more. more. On to the next. This is good this stuff. Are, I love this. Okay. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> funny. Is that video. a dog driving? What? That's not real. <laughs> I would be Why scared. Why is that <laughs> for? Why does he keep looking? It's like, That's I know so good. Got. He's like, I'm trying to work it. This is <laughs> I'm mine. Work that here. is hilarious. Matt, that was all Maverick. <laughs> Oh. That's so funny. I, I respect it. He's shitting all over the lawn. You might as well cut it. He better be yeah. getting paid. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You gotta Where's take the union? I clean my bathroom. He has to clean his clean bathroom. Clean the yard, you idiot. <laughs> Let's go. That's a man right there. Oh. <laughs> oh, this has to be East Coast. By the way, I was going to say that's Boston. Yeah, the shoe. Yeah, 100%. By the way, the fat, look at his shoes. Oh, yeah, his back Aww. is definitely broken. Kelly, show, can you do the shoes? Watch the shoes. The shoes are the most important part of this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> he landed that wait, pretty well. That was pretty wait, good. I mean, we, his were on, we were on a jet ski once. Yeah. And we were about to get off, and I thought like we were getting off, so I start to get out. I let go of Jamie's waist. He rips the jet <gasps> ski. I go flying, flying off. Up. My shoes come flying off. Oh. We're in a fucking swamp. Oh no! It was disgusting. I when both shoes go off, that means you're you're not hanging because normally you hang on to your shit. That means you're gonna I hurt yourself. Done. I was done. Oh, did you break anything? <laughs> no, I'm okay, good. Okay, thank God you're still here with us. All right, let's go. All right. This is, uh, uh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that that he 
He is like an Uber Eats guy. And you know what? If my food is late because of that asshole, I, that's my luck. The other guy is an Uber Eats guy. Watch. Look how much stuff the other guy had on him. Damn. Oh, yeah, that's an Uber Eats in New York. Look, look at Damn. all the food. That's my burger. That poor my, dude. What up? My, uh, my poor food. That poor food. <laughs> Fuck the guy. The dude. My Uber Eats. <laughs> that's my grub. Why were you late? I hit an idiot. Look, look, this idiot. Moron. Oh. All right, let's keep going. Last one. Oh. Yes, Emily. Oh, oh damn. Go back, Kelly. Oh, oh, no. She was Listen. lying. And they go, yo, you lying. good? She goes, I'm all right. No, you're not. No, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, She'll man. feel that one tomorrow. That's yep, you know? that's it. Oh, my it. God. That is so... Bro, like, honestly, I'm I'm so proud of myself that I'll never be those people in those videos. You know what's videos. interesting? Oh. I, we're Eight make out of one. ten of those videos, they're all men. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Right. And right. hold on, you know what? She's right. If it isn't a man, a man M, it's the guy saying, baby, put this water bottle <laughs> on your head because I know how to kick. Stupid idiot. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, guys, so now we're moving on to the to the next portion of the show. Um, I'm pretty sure you girls, if you don't know at home or you guys don't know, you've been hiding under a rock for the past month. Uh, Budweiser hired yes. that trans dude, Dylan Mulvaney, a trans to be woman. their trans woman. I, Emily, I don't even get involved. It's not my, it's trans something. <laughs> Just whatever. I'm not playing this game. Uh, so this dude, girl, whatever, his name is Dylan, and he grows hair on his face. I it looks like a guy. Uh, Bud Light hired him to be their spokesperson. Huge mistake. It backfired. They oh lost almost $6 billion, all right, mm -hmm. in two weeks. Yep. And you know what? We saw that, and I was like, oh, my God, but horrible news. Then Budweiser came out with, like, a commercial going back, like, to the country, and they had, like, a Clydesdale <laughs> to go back to America and basically saying that they were sorry. Me, Maverick, and Kelly saw this commercial, and we thought, you know what? Let's make a, a spoof parody sketch about oh it. Oh, my God. So we did it. Really pay attention. Listen, Kelly, roll it. Hey, remember me? I'm that old, deep, white man voice in Budweiser commercials that you love to hear. Now, as you all know, we recently hired one of them lady dudes to be our spokesperson, and I'm here to say we f***ed up. Going woke actually made us broke, so we're gonna go back to the basics. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's more like it. Nothing screams drink our crappy piss water more than a horse running around for no damn reason at all. America. And here are some good old boys acting up, starting fights and drinking and driving, because that's what our beer stands for. Do you want to know what that was? Me shooting my gun in the studio. You know why? Because I'm an American, and that's what we do. Now I gotta run. I'm going to a Kid Rock concert with my pregnant cousin Roxanne, who is also my wife. So from all of us at Budweiser, thank you for giving us another chance because, hey, nobody's perfect. But you know what is? Our beer. And remember, drink irresponsibly. Oops. <laughs> My bad. Did you guys like that? That was great. Thank that you. Great. Look at that. So, yo, we just, so my mind you, so we just cut, we got a bunch of video B-roll, and I was like, we got it, because that's, they, like, why would you even, like, what, I want to ask So, both I actually know gold. why Budweiser had to do that. Wow. So, a lot of those companies have, like, a social score that okay. they have to, to pass to be able to even sell, something like that. Don't, I'm not an well, I get it, no, but I get it. <laughs> but they <clears throat> basically have to score points in a certain category, and they scored the lowest. So, they did that to get their scores up so that they could... I think it has to do with, like, the SEC. It's a, yeah, but, but, but what? I was going to ask both of you, but what do you guys think, both of you, Emily, I'll start with you, what, you see something like them getting that woke attitude. What was your, what's your whole thing with using them in the trans? I get the, like, including people, but for Bud, why is it, like, what do you tell me? What do you think? My whole thing is, and we, like, talk about this a lot when we're podcasting, is you're speaking to an audience. Yes. And you have to know what your audience wants. Budweiser, no fucking woke hippy dippy <laughs> person is buying Budweiser. Nope. That's they should have gone with like an IPA brand to sponsor Dylan Mulvaney because I feel like that would have been better. Or like a transmission oil, like you know what I mean? Oh, like Valvoline. Hey, what? That's not Wait, Valvoline. What if Valvoline sponsored Dylan? Oh my Dylan? god! Like, hey, I'm a tr trans, and guess what? Your transmissions messed. That would. That's, that's gold. Marketing. That's, that's your gold. That's gold. I mean, God, what are we doing here? Budweiser. Let's just go. I just hire think, Vincent. It's yeah. like, let's fucking go. I feel like they could have 
gone about it way better. Yeah. You know what I mean? It almost seems like lazy. So and what it's yeah. like they're just trying to get the social like thing out, but it's not real. So so here's my other question. What do you guys think like the the whole trans like it's blown up in the past five years it's getting to where it's a small minority of people but they're they number one they're so protected like if you if you say anything that it's offensive you're done they try to cancel Chappelle and all these people but like my thing personally is it's when it comes to 14 year olds and 13 year olds this is my thing listen dude girl you're in 30s listen go do you could dress up as a cat uh, a baby uh, have people speak <laughs> I don't care but what's their obsession with the 14 year olds? What, what do you guys, what's your, what's your feeling about the whole movement in itself? I think you should just be Sorry. able to express yourself however you want mm. and it shouldn't be forced on anyone. I love if somebody that. wants to make that decision, they should do it. I know personally, and we've discussed this on our podcast before, I was a tomboy. Mm -hmm. I played with Bionicles and Legos and video that. games. I wanted nothing to do with dresses and Barbies. I wanted to play sports. And my mom like forced being a girl on me. Okay. And I was really happy that I guess it wasn't in the way society is now because I feel like I would have felt pressured to <coughs> transition. But I was just a tomboy. Yeah. Mm. You know. Yeah. And once I hit like once I hit puberty, then I was like, oh, I like being a girl, and I went more. At what, at what age, Jamie? Where were you at? I would probably say like going into high school. Like seven, like sixteen. 15, 16? Like 15, See, yeah. And, and then mind you, though, but can you imagine having a parent that's like, oh, you, you're kind of boyish? We're going to go and have a doctor, like, give you hormones. And, like, that's, 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 a, that's, that's not even a, a blurry scary. line. It's, it's scary. There are definitely parents, I think, that would try to control their kids. And, like, there are so many fucked up parents out there that would definitely I think have, I think having the option for some kids, because there are kids who this is... They feel like they were in the wrong body. You I know what I mean? I understand that. I mean, yeah, go ahead. But, like, not, if that's their decision and they're, they have a conversation with their parents it's like been going on for a long time i think families should be able to make like that smart decision but it shouldn't yeah. be forced on anyone yeah, I, no, and i agree 100 percent. And, and mind you what, what people don't like to talk about is it's called gender dysphoria like it used to be called yep. something else but it's a disorder mm -hmm. and i feel bad for these people listen i'm not i'm not anti them i hate when people say transphobic and some other uh trans woman was saying that there's a um a, like like a so, some, they're like trying to wipe them all out. And it's like, bro, nobody's saying that. It's just leave the younger children, give them time to get into their own. Your brain doesn't start fully developing until, guess what age? 25 years old. I'm almost there. You're almost there. <laughs> almost there. Oh, I'm like, 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 making bad not decisions. Yet. But, um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm, we see on the same, uh, same like, field, which I, I, I respect. And it's just, my thing is always leave the kids alone. That's I just, it. I just think personally... There are a lot of issues. Like, remember, like, Santa Claus, like, when he, they tried to, like, change Santa Claus, or, like, the fucking, uh, I really can't stay song. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and yeah. They, they create, they made it. the, the media cold creates it's cold, it's cold issues. outside. It's cold outside. It's cold outside. The yeah. media creates issues that they can divide the left and the right. I don't think there are really people being like, you have to transit. Obviously, there are some. Yeah. But I also think it's kind of like a false narrative driven by the media to make people fight so we're not actually focusing oh, on real issues. I, I agree 1,000%. One, 1, it's constant. I mean, that's just another thing added to the race, the gender, the tall, the short, the women. It's like, bro, leave us alone. There's so much There's so much love out there, but they just want us to just be at each other's heads. And that's why it I don't even pay attention. Like more hate. It I does. Think it does. Like people sure. be, make their own choices, and I think maybe even t instead of tackling that issue, tackle like how like the actual transphobia. Like teach people and educate them yeah. so that when this comes, it's not that big of a shock. Or how people Florida, know how to deal with it. You know what Florida I mean? Florida is so behind in education. Why don't we fucking get our kids to school? Well, Flo well I just Flo listen. Florida's not playing games. Well, Florida. You have to get a license to get weed. You have to pay, but guess what? Everybody got a gun. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the same thing just passed. Uh, you don't even need a, because when I got here, I got my concealed license. I had to go. They had to do FBI, mm -hmm. FBI check. Now they're just like, hey, what's your name? You're like, Tom. They're like, take a gun. They just throw it <laughs> at your face. But I kind of respect. But all right, guys, so I'm going to just really quick, I'm going to uh, go to our sponsor for the episode. Uh, and before I go, I want to ask you guys, have you guys ever had like your identity stolen or your uh credit or anything by my mom are you serious? yeah <laughs> no wait no but i mean like online like some random crazy no. stuff yeah just family just family that's that's a different story we're gonna get to what about you jane what happened with you yeah i had somebody like use my social security number for something okay so that well this is a great thing for me so i signed up for so besides them being the sponsor i still sign up for them and it's aura a-u-r-a it's an identity theft protection fraud monitoring vpn password management and antivirus software all combined in one uh, easy to step app i signed up for it my 
my passwords, my codes, my, my, my four number things were 80 times on the web. And I had my credit card, my Chase, everything was, was hacked into. So I'm, I'm telling you right now, this gives you like almost real time alerts. Uh, the VPN lets you stay anonymous, which is perfect. Uh, online by keeping your browsing history and personal info safe and encrypted. And I, I said this the last time, it's like almost having a, um, uh, like a digital bodyguard. So wherever you go, whatever you're doing, somebody's just sitting there going, hey, hey, hey. it's popping up. So you know, I as like soon as that. somebody's trying to come up in your business. So um, don't waste any time. And guys, if you sign up right now, you get a two week free uh, trial period. Uh, Aura will give you two weeks on with my link. And it's uh, uh, www.aura.com. That's A-U-R-A.com forward slash VT comedy. And uh, guys, don't waste time. It's affordable. Get it done. And that's how we roll. Okay, we're going to be moving on. Um, we're gonna move on. I think you guys are gonna get a kick of this. This cat is he's one of my favorite segments on the show. Uh, he is our in-house news correspondent oh. and international sex icon. Like, bro, this huh. guy walks oh. onto the street. Oh. What's his name? I have yes. no idea. I have People almost crash their cars trying to holler at this dude. Oh, shit. He's a really good friend of mine. He's gonna give us the news. His name is Dodge Landsman. Um, we're gonna go to the section and it's called Dodge This. Hell yeah. Dodge, what is going on? How was your week? Is everything good? It was good. It was a very nice intro. I haven't lost my virginity yet. <laughs> but it's still a but, really but nice hey, That doesn't take away from be, kids. Hey, being an icon, I don't care if you're whatever. 20, you could be 21 year old. You're, you're still that guy. Yeah. Right? I don't even want Amen. them to look because I don't, I don't want to get jealous if they look behind. But all right, anyway. All right, so Dodge, uh, yeah. tell us what's going on in the news. Talk to us. So, <laughs> a lot of headlines this week. We will start with the Met Gala. Okay. <laughs> By the way, I don't even know what that is, but I'm it's ready. just people dressing up weird, right? All right, exactly. go for it, Dodge. It's the and Hunger Games in yeah. real life. Yeah. yeah. And we'd like to congratulate Kristen Stewart on coming out as a redneck lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that is my type right that there. That is it. Oh, right? <laughs> <laughs> gay, hot. let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, I love gay women who look uh, gay. Oh, I love that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she's gone all that. the way. And I love you for loving gay women that love gay. <laughs> We're let's inclusive go, here. Yeah. All right, let's go. And Roger Federer is here and brought his loofah along with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I your, love that. Your I, delivery is great, dude. No, I love him. And here's Jared Leto celebrating after he tricked his cat into having sex with him. <laughs> <laughs> wow, let's go. Oh. I love Dodge. And here's a spastic and stupid looking ginger. Thanks a lot, Eddie Redmayne. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, Dodge. <laughs> All right, keep going. This is why Let's I'm go. still a virgin. I love him. And Kendall sure. Jenner sporting a thong dress has us all asking how much. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like chain mail. It's like Joan of Arc died I for know, this. I know, it's pretty hot. Like, dude, I, seeing old pictures of her and then seeing her now, like, really, throws, she's, she's a completely different human being. She That's what happens when plastic people surgery. Age. No, not, no, not even that. No, she got she a lot of work she done. Blossomed. No, did she have a lot of work done? I don't know. I don't oh, know. I'm pretty sure. That's, we'll the talk sister, about that. definitely. Oh, yeah, obviously. Mm. Obviously. And a God. Bush baby snuck oh. into the awards. I love her. I love her. I don't even know who that Me is. Me too. I'm so old. Followed by a homeless crackhead <laughs> who was later identified as Pete Davidson. <laughs> You guys think Pete Davidson's a hot guy? Like, I was hot. I don't yeah. know his magic. Yeah. He could okay. ruin my life. Okay, go yeah. ahead. I, I respect that. She said he could ruin her life, and I kind of respect Isn't that. Isn't that a good, if that means good, that means a good, in a good way, right? Yeah. yeah. I feel like guys who look dirty always have the best dick. I didn't, yeah. wash, my, <laughs> yeah. I didn't wash my ass for two days. No, I'm joking. All right, let's go. Let's beat it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, let's keep going. I'm out. All right, good. This is Dodge's section. We're all being perverted up here. Guys. Sorry, Dodge. I'm having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Great minds think alike. Yeah. Katy Perry is temporarily stepping down as American Idol judge as she came close to malfunctioning and needs a new eye. <laughs> oh, gosh. That is hilarious. But what was wrong with her? Did they find out what happened with her? She, she, was it she got Botox. When? She had, yeah, her, it was, I think her it was, eye just gets tired and closes. That's, listen to me. That's an alien moving on. <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> yeah. Malfunctioning. Yeah. Subway is now closing hundreds of stores. Loyal fans say they will miss the restaurant's comforting, familiar smell of microwaved diarrhea. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yes, Dodge. I love him. Moving on to culture. After a rough year, which found Steven Tyler facing 
accusations for sexual assault, Aerosmith has announced their farewell tour. Tyler is retiring from the music industry so he could have more time to have sex with your daughter. <laughs> nice. Yes, let's go, baby. Dodge is great. Uh, oh, that's the daughter shot. Yeah, let's stay on Dodge so we can see both of the photos. <laughs> yeah, no, I want to see both. Oh, yeah, yeah that's the actual. So just to actually shed some light Go somewhat ahead. seriously, they should not forget that this is the actual young wom young girl that he somehow avoided prosecution what? for what? assaulting. How so old was I would she? Like to add that Wasn't to she like 16? And she was not about 14 years old. What? So some of these jokes are kind of reminders of the legacy that I, these artists leave behind. Not only do I love it, but yo, for a 14-year-old, look at her. She, she partied. Old. Oh, oh yeah. my God! I mean, her parents but, signed over the parental rights. They did, yeah. Even Tyler. What? They were like, "Take her. I don't want her anymore." Oh Wouldn't you do God. drugs if your parents didn't want you? One thousand. Why do you think I do drugs? What? No, I love you. Hold <laughs> my hand. But you're Hold not my, my dad. I, I could be your. <laughs> we I need adopt one. you. Okay. I'll adopt you on the show. Hey. All right, we'll get the paperwork out. Emily Ocean. <laughs> All right, let's go, Dodgy. Let's go. New automatic cat litter box cleans your cat's poop for you. In response, your cat has decided that will shit in your mouth because you're still its bitch. <laughs> <laughs> our, so wait, we have one of these. Do you and, have one? Oh, yeah, how does it and work? our cat, when she gets mad at us, she shits in one of our sinks. Are you yep. serious? Every yeah. time. There you go, so this is legit. She doesn't give a fuck. She takes big shits too. <laughs> but wait a minute, I'm confused. What, if it's full or dirty or, or she just wants to piss If it's not pristine and perfect, she's like, you know what, fuck you guys. Oh my <laughs> God. Oh god, yeah, I, I love dogs. I'm uh, sorry, cats with that attitude. No, can't deal with it. All right, no, go ahead. she's a Based sweet on girl. facts, yeah. Well, not all fact. the time. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Anne, a man is facing a federal charge after groping the crotch of an American Airlines flight attendant. Oh. The stewardess reminded the man that she wasn't one of those cheap thoughts you find on Spirit <laughs> Airlines. <laughs> I love that he said thought. I haven't heard that word in a minute, dude. Classic, right? I love what thought. I don't know what the hell it stands for, but whatever. Uh. <laughs> ah, thought. All right, go ahead. And a woman died after the horse she was riding on <laughs> threw her off and landed on her head. Oh, this dude. was brought to my attention last night after I googled woman giving horse head. <laughs> oh, no. No. Yeah, that's uh, a nasty one. I love it, Dodge. That it's innuendo. I love oh, yeah, it. Oh, yeah, say the least. That was a good God, one. this is so funny. Still couldn't find many results, but got a great story. I love it, so Dodge. That's And the Utah legislator. Oh, whoops. Get, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, too, though. Bro, she's oh, a legislator, Dodge? <laughs> She should be. She should be. Oh, we'll go get back that woman to in Congress. That's so funny. We, can't, we, we cannot skip this one. This is crucial. What was this, this one? crucial. So a movement is actually growing on TikTok, mm. calling to ax the requirement, making overweight women pay for an extra seat on the plane. The solution? They could just sit on my face. <laughs> oh, my God. You look like a guy who would like them thick on them. Oh, yeah. The Dodge, thicker, the better. Dodge, remember, I've had, a, I've had a few go around. Not sex actually a virgin. Sex, exactly. uh, more cushion yeah. for the pushing. He's, he's still a virgin, but Dodge gets down. All right, go ahead, Dodge. The, the thick chicks would disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> they know the real me. Uh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> No, you like just hold on. He's a news guy, but he's oh, a perfect. No, this is great. This is I great. love him. He's my favorite part of the whole. This oh, is too, great. Sorry. Oh God, I love you guys. That you guys love him. All right, so let's go. Oh, I'm I love sorry. you guys. The Utah legislator <laughs> has added an age restriction to Pornhub, making <laughs> users upload a government ID proving their age. The Mormon Church expressed support for this measure, saying sex is something sacred between a man and five women. <laughs> I was in Utah, and every Walmart, every Kmart I went into, it was a married guy, and there were so many kids in these places, bro. They get down in Utah. The Mormons don't play games, bro. They're, oh, yeah. they're they flourishing. Soak. Wait, they wait. go for it. They just have sex all day. That's we all they do. We just dropped off Jamie's car to be repaired because yeah. I accidentally hit her car. Okay. <laughs> That's what um, friends are for. <laughs> and... Uh, the guy who like we dropped the car after who's gonna re be repairing it. He's like, yeah, I got 17 kids and you, nine baby mamas. No. What? And he, sh he goes, he's swiping through the baby mamas, and he's like, that's a baby mama. She's dead. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Yeah. She's dead. We were like, are they? Are you killing off your baby what mamas to avoid child dude? support? Was he, like, where was he? He was Jamaican. Jamaican. Oh, Jamaicans don't play games. They're just out <laughs> on the street. He's like, I'm just trying to. Fuck. Yeah, my boy Mike's Jamaican. Is Mike here? Is Mike here? Oh, yeah. we okay, love no. Mike. All right, let's keep going. Dodge, is that good? Oh, uh, we got one more. One more, let me hear it. Yeah. 
Rock and Roll Hall of Fame has introduced their inductees for the class of 2023. Willie Nelson and Missy Elliott and George Michael are all included. On display in their museum in Cleveland will be the glory hole used by George Michael <laughs> in the Los Angeles public bathroom. <laughs> Give it up for Dodge. Dodge this, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Oh, my God. Yo. That I love great. that segment. How that was dope great. is it? Like, mind you, we're watching videos. Bro, people are like, Vinny, this is a podcast. There's not no, a lot no, this of is stuff like this. Thank you. And yo, Jamie. Awesome. Emily, you have to do it different. That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. Don't do what everyone else is doing. And, and Jamie, people keep saying podcast. They go, yo, I don't have a podcast. Yeah, we're going to have a podcast portion, but this is Kelly and Maverick sat with me, and we just came up with something that's just different. And this cat just fell in our lap. <laughs> I love you. Well, I, I love you. 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 How can I rip off this? All right, so listen. Um, now the Dodge, I love you. Thank you for the love news. Too. I'm not going to forget none of that. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go to our next segment. Uh, we're going to get serious, funny, crazy, wild. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say with the next segment, and that's called Venting with Vinny. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're going to vent. Oh, shit. Look at that. The lane of applause the audience. Somebody yeah. play Bad Bunny. Somebody play Bad Bunny. <laughs> All right, so the first story, you guys, I can't wait to, I don't know if you guys read this or not. New York, uh, uh, New York uh, Post, oral sex is fueling an epidemic, did you read this? Yes. Of throat cancers. <laughs> yep. Oral sex is the X-rated culprit behind the wave of throat cancer cropping up within the U.S., fueling a so-called epidemic, bro, an <laughs> epidemic. Kelly, don't laugh, because this is going <laughs> to affect you guys. Uh, according, <clears throat> according to Hisham Mahana, a professor at the Institute of Cancer and Genomic Studies at the University of Birmingham, the human... Papillomavirus is HPV. to blame. Yeah, HPV. Thank you. I wouldn't. I would have never have thought that. I'm being dead ass. Uh, cases of HPV linked to the uh, the oropharyngeal cancer type of cancer rose 1.3 to 2.8 in men from two, uh, 2015 to 2019 by the American Cancer Society. CDC says that 70 percent of all those can cancers that affect the tonsils, base of the tongue, and the back of the throat are caused by HPV in the U.S. So, okay. Damn. Of, so this, first of all, and I can't wait to get your guys' uh, your ideas on this, but think about how great news this is for guys that hate going down on girls. There's guys, sure. like, can you imagine and right girls. now? And yeah, girls. Yeah. 100%. It's proof there's toxic dick out yeah. there. Yeah. No, 100%. This whole thing, but could you imagine now, like, a girl really, like, she really, really wants it, and, and the guy's like, babe, I'm sorry. She's like, babe. Like, and he's just like, I... I'm I like, don't this die. is why you got to get tested. Too many people are not getting tested. Yeah, get tested. Get tested so we can have safe, yeah, fun sex. Yeah, and it's not bad. Listen, I've been to Planned Parenthood. It's awkward, but just get in there. Uh, but have you ever, I've, I'm not going to find, I've been to Planned Parenthood many times when I was in high we school. We just got tested. Did you really? Yeah. We're clean. Yeah. We have yeah. HIV. Up, we were nervous. <laughs> I haven't in a couple months, but let's just say, keep that. Yeah. This is about you. <laughs> <laughs> Go no. get tested, Vinny. But I just can't, like, could you imagine? You're responsible for like 70% of those cases. Let yeah. me read the numbers. Yeah, about 30%. Uh, yeah, that's me. I can. <laughs> can you imagine, look, can you imagine being a dude getting you know, the throat cancer, and I don't know, surgery, and you're one of those, you're like this, and people are like, what happened? Like, cigarettes? You're like, no, glitterous. <laughs> like, but but then I'm like, like I dick. take out, like, the talking box, and I'm like, just stick it right in here, babe. <laughs> just go for and, it. And you're it's like, are you sure? You're like, it's around care. the HPV. Look, it's do it. Here. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. Just get it in there. The HPV oh. adds to the gluck gluck, you know? Oh, my God. Look at Kelly's face. I love Kelly. Kelly, no. I, I gotta tell you guys, Kelly's that person, when you watch a movie, and everybody's like, why? And Joanna Kelly's just like, <laughs> she's or shocked. Like she is shocked. We're here to shock people. But wait, but, and real quick, like, are you guys, so are you guys pro guys going down or are you guys anti? If you so, don't eat my what? pussy, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't eat my ass, I'm not going to date you. That's it. Like, is that's that, it. That's it, period. Okay. Hard Here, boundary. Here's, no! yeah. here's, my, here's my take. I, I am, pro, I'll do whatever with the girl, obviously, if I trust her and test mm -hmm. her and all that. But if it comes to that, we are in the shower, picking you up and carrying you to the bed, and that's it's happening. Because once you take nine steps, that skin is going bananas. The like, friction. It's yeah. Like unless you have like an airing fan system, I can't. I blow dry my pussy after are I take a Are you serious? Shower. Yeah. Oh, I respect that. That's classic. I had a <laughs> never dry his balls. What? what temperature? Oh, cool. 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 Not I like, do the cool no, flash. Warm. I got you. No, cool. Well, see, now, now, we're, now we're debating. She's on the wall. No, I had an ex. He would stick one leg on the top of the toilet, and I would walk in, and he would, I, with a blow dryer. His I'm like, balls? you don't have hair. And, and he's like, I'm blow drying my balls. I don't want them to stick. That what is I, hilarious. What what that's why after the shower, I walk around for at least 10 minutes completely, but I, I don't care if there's guests. If Nana's there. I walk around I'm, like this. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to get air out. I'm getting some air. I just do a crab walk around the house. Like, what's up? It gets warm, but guys, people don't realize there's a lot of. 
moisture and, and wrinkle. And it's, There's a lot going on. It's too much, right, Dodge? Yeah. Although, girls, girls' vaginas smell much worse than guys' balls. No! Now that the big time, no. this is a real no. debate. No. Okay. Wow. Not I know true. girls that actually like this, which is weird, but when it comes to a girl's yum yum, it has to smell. <laughs> hey, hold on. I don't oh. want no Be smell. Horrific. I don't want to. Because listen to me, I don't trust a girl that it smells like. Absolutely nothing. You, you're oh. still a woman. Yeah. I want there some. There has to be some. Yeah. Just, just shove some yeah. soap in there. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. The oh, the we had a, we had exactly. You want to smell it on your, on your that. 5 o'clock oh, shadow yes. out there. Yes. I love that. Oh, God. I love you guys, by the way. <laughs> I love you. These are real conversations that people need to talk about, all right? Deep, we're deep tired of talking about Elon Musk. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to go to the next story, Kelly. You ready? Okay. All right, so I can't wait for you guys to hear this one. So another New York Post story. Two conjoined twins... All right. Uh, oh, yes. One of them has a boyfriend. Like, think about this. Yeah. So, uh, 22 year old Lupita and Carmen and Andrade recently opened up Andrade. about what it's like to have their lives fused together. The twins were born in Mexico, but grew up in Connecticut. Shout out to Connecticut. They share a pelvis, a reproductive system, a liver, and a bloodstream. Uh, and they, they, they each have one leg. Carmen controls the right and Lupita controls the left. They have never tried to have surgery <laughs> to separate them because one of them, you know, would die. Yeah. But Carmen has a boyfriend named Daniel, while Lupita is asexual. So listen, they share Bro. obviously the same <laughs> vagina. One of them doesn't like to smash, like, yo, at all. So one of them's asexual. Imagine your sister's giving head and you oh. have to go oh along with it. <laughs> like, what oh. the fuck? You're, like, You're fucking. He puts I a guess pillow. This is it. Those are, uh, yeah, he puts those, a pillow over it. He's like, I can't look at her yeah, like anymore. Dude, that's that's yo, crazy. That's, and those are those moments where if you're the asexual and you're like, God, I know that you have a, a mission for me, but this is What is, is a, it? This is this is too much. That's too much. This is too She's much. like a fucking comment, a sports commenter. She's like, and she goes down. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have Lupita ringing yeah. in. One, nine, two, pounds. You don't think she's lying to like sacrifice for her sister, be like, I'm so glad you found happiness. I don't want to make this any weirder than it no. already is. Let me say that I'm asexual I, and it doesn't bother me. I don't think so. But how do they masturbate? No, well, no, what do you mean? It's, well, they, they, like, they, we do no, Jamie, together? on top of that. You just Jerk your sister off? Uh, no, but it's, yeah, which hand? That's is that mm. is that that's incest? Yes. Dude, this is such a confusing situation because they share the same vagina. So even though the sister's doing whatever, she's <laughs> getting pleasure too. They feel sadness together. Like they go when they drop on a roller coaster, they both feel the. Because they have the same body. They in the same body. I mean, it's half off for the roller coaster ride ticket, but because <laughs> it's one person technically. But <laughs> what there's what she's saying is she doesn't want to. But the real question I want to ask is the dude Daniel. I don't care. You don't sign up for something like that unless you have a fetish. You got something up Something with you. is going up yeah. with him, Em. To look at those girls and be like, oh, I'm, I'm hitting that. I'm into that. <laughs> like, wouldn't you be like, wouldn't you kind of be like, yo, dude, like if that was your friend, I Jamie. would, uh, yeah. No. I would be like, interesting. Yeah, interesting like Interesting very... choice. But they deserve love, but also yeah. interesting. It'd be funny if she's like, listen, okay, that's Dan, you're doing your thing. Now I've met a guy and I want like. Is that cheating? That's what I'm saying. Oh, are you che going is she cheating on her man? That's hard. Oh, my God. And that's a kink. That's, that's a kink. That's a big kink. And then, mind you, though, if they have, like, would the guy take turns? Because it's the same oral. Or the guys, DT. Or it's those rum. Yeah, which is, I, I can't. Let me explain something to you. There's nothing worse than, and I mind you, I'm not even joking. I blocked every porn site off my phone. I don't, I, I, I'm trying to stay pure. Oh, and shit. I'm trying to stay holy. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, trust me, it's very. But if you don't, we have an OnlyFans, and you can find yeah. mine. Yeah. 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 Let's go. We're going to give all the OnlyFans. Wait, what is your OnlyFans? Just tell everybody. Why not? Tell, tell. I'm the topless comic. I'm the topless comic. Did everybody get that? Or you the have one, Emily? Comic. I'm at Emily Chestnut. Emily Chestnut. Because <laughs> you can nut on her chest. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I have one too, and it's just Vinny behind the ears. It's just me like this. Wait, don't do get, that. I'll get excited. Yeah, my bad. I just have guys looking at my balls. And what's I'm guys? signing up. Yeah. <laughs> she goes, I'm signing up. I love you guys. Um, okay, so that's that one. We're going to go to another story. Um, oh, did you guys hear what happened to the, um, the woman that was at the opera at the L.A. Philharmonic? She had a full body oh, yes, orgasm. Yeah. During, and mind you, this is, let me, let me read it. Uh, this is, the, the ground really moved uh, for one woman during the second <laughs> movement of the LA Philharmonic performance of Tchaikovsky's Fifth Symphony. That's a good one. That's an amazing That's one. That's a good if one. If it's gonna happen on one, M, it has to happen it on that one. It better be fucking Tchaikovsky. Yeah, she had a full body orgasm. Several 
concert goers described the woman's uh, climactic moment Friday from the balcony at the Pac Walt Disney Concert Hall. One of the people goes, I saw the girl as it happened, and I assumed like she had an orgasm because she was breathing heavily, and her partner was smiling and looking at her like an effort not to shame her. Like, okay. Here's my thing. Of all places. I'd be like, is that an E minor? She, she hit the A chord? What's going on here? That was a great chord that progression. So, Emily, that's so funny. Can you imagine, like, can you imagine the, the conductor like, la, 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 la. And he's like, <laughs> like, like, wait, do you want to hear it? Yeah, yeah, somebody's <laughs> off. Do you want to hear it? It's the no, remix. It's, it's the, the remix. remix. You guys want to hear it? Yeah, yeah, put it up. Like, wait, really, there's oh, video? Yeah. yeah, really pay attention. Really pay attention. Oh, I'm excited. Go ahead, Cal. Put it on volume max. Put on volume. Let's hear it. I want to come. All right, I'm maxed out on the computer, so no, it's all here good. we go. Uh, you should have told me to bring my vibrator. Oh! oh! Play that one more time. Like, that was, by the way, that's Vincent's a, really close. She went nuts. <laughs> oh, my God. Not as sexy as I thought. Wow. That's <laughs> yeah! Yeah! She went for the gusto. And then pe other people were questioning, like, Hey, I don't know, but like nine different people saw it happen, and then she got embarrassed. Do you think he was using one of those toys I inside was of her? Jamie, I was just going to ask you guys, are you guys pro? I saw a video uh, on World Star, and it was a guy and a girl that were out. They had that vibrator thing inside. I want to know your opinion. So she's walking, and this wasn't, I, I know when videos are fake. I've been in Hollywood for, mm -hmm. my, for 15 years. I know when people are faking pranks and shit. She's shopping. He's across the way, and you see her like talking to people. He hits this button, and she's just like, ah! And she's falling on the floor, and she's look. They think she's hurting, but she's freaking having an orgasm. It's like, are you cool with that? No. Like, would you let somebody do fuck? that? Okay. Yo, I haven't done say, that before. I've done yeah. it before. <laughs> You've done to, it with who, like who, a guy. An ex boyfriend. Yeah, I went to a okay. museum okay. in Boston, the Museum of Fine Arts. Okay. okay. <laughs> Oh, fine art, <laughs> fine arts, Pull opera. The you guys are just classy. We were, wa I'm classy. I'm I, classy I love it. Broad. I love it. So we were walking through the like the Egyptian is exhibit, getting to like the Renaissance, and he yeah. starts to turn it on. But I'm not fucking moaning and screaming. Yeah. Like I'm just like. I, I look like I have to pee. Yeah, you're you know, like, I'm like, oh, oh that was so me, good. Excuse me. <laughs> but I feel like it's so fucking disrespectful to bring people into your kink and like make them participate in your weird voyeurism shit. Yeah, like, oh, yeah fuck that's yourself. Weird. So you're done with it. You're no, like, I'm good. Yeah, you're like good. Like just at the house. Okay, it's cute at the house. Babe, go get me. Go get me dessert. <laughs> oh, like because it's yours, right? It's intimate. Like I don't yeah. need thirty thousand people. Oh, at the mall? There's no, kids watching. That's weird. There is yeah. kids. Yeah. What about you? When do you become like a sex offender at that point? Yeah, that's, oh yeah, you're orgasming in front of children. In front, if you're illegal. in public, I get a Walmart or something. Oh my God. And like, even a kid, I love kids. I'm playing with kids and stuff. Like, ah. Uh, you you like would just be like, that's Susan. She's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of pissed off. There's nothing like that for men that's like out in public type thing. Like, obviously, oh, they have flesh. They fleshlight. have vibrating cock rings. What? Yeah, that's But, a I, good but I don't think they can make you orgasm, can it? Just oh, yeah. Yeah, I can. Yeah, it can. I'd, have to, I'd have to sit there like in like the. Like a chi focusing mantra. I wouldn't just a vibration. I would need some. It has to be on the tip of your dick. Oh god! Mm -hmm. You know what? Is there an Amazon account? I'll buy. I'll buy. I'm not I'll joking. tell you exactly what you need. I'll send you the link. No, I'm okay. dead serious. Oh I'll wear it on the show next week, and I'll just sit no. here like, okay, we're gonna go to Dodge this. <laughs> next segment. Next yeah. segment. Dodge this. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh wait, uh, are you guys? Can I ask you a question? Are you guys loud or uh, to Both of you. Are you guys loud? All three of you actually. <laughs> Kelly, Dodge, Kelly, in you're next. involved. Dodge is next. Um, I've never are you guys, had sex. Are you guys I'm, I'm um, loud orgasmers, quiet orgasmers? It's a part two. Yeah. Squirters. Third question is: Do you like when the guy is loud when he comes, or one of those just like very silent? So all of the above. Emily, so you're ever so you no, orgasm. Why do you think they call me Loud Emily? So you're loud Emily. Oh shit. Loud Emily <laughs> and squirter. Uh, yeah, okay, and I it. love when a man moans. If moans you're gonna send me a dick pic, make sure it's you jerking mm. it, coming, I wanna see the cum shot, and then moan. That's, yes. That's the mwah. It's hot. Um, Jamie? I mean, Jamie? <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, I, I, basically it's based on where I'm at. I can have a quiet one. Yeah. I've done quickies before in yeah. places I shouldn't. Yeah. You know, I know how to be quiet. <laughs> Having roommates. You and me both, But uh, I, I would say if it's good, I'm, I'm letting you know. It's you're good. letting you know. And, you and I do want to hear that the guy's enjoying it too. Got like you. hearing you breathe and moan. And like, I just don't want you to be silent because I'm no. in my head and I'm like, yo, what are you thinking? <laughs> like, yeah, what's going on in there? Yeah. He's, just, he's just like, are the Knicks going to beat Miami this week? You're like, you want to hear like the. Uh, yeah. You want to be involved. I want to know that you're participating and so, you're not like scared. I'm, a, oh, I'm, I'm, I listen to me. 
because life is so beautiful and it's so short because you go at any moment, I enjoy every moment. Like when I come, I'm like, ah! I'm loud <laughs> and I want the neighbors <laughs> to know. Why not? If you guys can do it, I'm going balls to the wall. No yeah. pun intended. Yeah, why not enjoy? Why why keep that moment just <clears throat> quiet? But a lot of girls fake their moans. Like there's a lot of girls who are just so like screaming and it's not good. Some guys do that. I do. Yeah, they're like, ah, and they're just like aggressively. And it's like, yo, you can chill. We're not having that. Yeah, like, yeah, relax, sex. dude. <laughs> Kelly, what's up with you? Kelly's f you like a loud what guy. Are we you like a, about? You like a guy. You like a guy that's a moaner or no? You a big comer, Kelly? <laughs> I, I I have not had sex, mom. I'm a virgin. Kelly's, uh, oh, so Kelly's a virgin. All right, so Kelly. Waiting for it, marriage. Waiting for my man. Kelly, Real if you had the funny thing is, Ke imagine Kelly's wow. mom watching this episode. No, uh, so my Kelly, mother will never see if, this episode. So Kelly, if and when you do have sex, do you want your future husband to be just quiet when he's having sex? <laughs> Or you want them to be vocal? I think you want someone that is, a, you want to be able to understand your person and have it be emotive and expressive so that you feel good. Like a communication via body sounds, I guess. Got you. Okay. And Kelly's mom, listen, oh Kelly's a God. virgin. This now is... you know what she's talking about when she. <laughs> the worst now, day of my life. Now you know. <laughs> she goes, worst day of my life. Oh All my right. Gosh. We're going to go to one more story before we wrap up. Uh, by the way, I'm having a that blast. Was so fast. That's I know. So good. No, think about it. We're almost at an hour because we no. had fun. We're having yeah. fun. But don't worry, this one, this I'm one about we're to have orgasm. a good time. Yeah. Such a good time. Orgasm for, for 20 minutes. All right, so the last <laughs> story uh, it's uh, from transgender to transabled. Like, guys, people are choosing to identify, this is what that whole trans thing that we we're talking about, as handicapped. So, transableism mm. is where individuals identify as handicapped and may even ask doctors to amputate healthy limbs, oh. snip their spinal cords, oh, hell no. and destroy mm. eyesight. There was a girl on Dr. Phil that poured uh, uh, Clorox or something in her eyes because she was like, "When I, I should be blind. I'm not, I'm not joking. They, they went nuts on her. Even doctors were like, I can't even sit next to this person. Uh, so, and mind you, here's my thing. Call it what it really is. <laughs> mentally it's not trans, ill. Mentally ill. Mentally ill. Yeah, thank you. And up. it's not trans ableism. It's called trans stupidityism. You thank are you. stupid yep. because what do you what do you say to someone that's actually crippled, blind, who would give anything to be in your position oh and have goodness. a healthy body? And you're over here. And you're over here doing. And, and but mind you, like you guys, I'm so happy you guys both said it. It's a mental disorder, yep. and you want to talk about a lot of these people want attention. Yes. They just want, Thank and mind you. you, why not go work, go do something, have a podcast. Have a podcast. Go. Yeah. Get therapy. Get, out, get, get, get therapy. <laughs> you don't uh, have to walk during a podcast. No. You can pretend you don't have legs. Exactly. Yeah, get as high yeah. as we got him, get and as high. there you go. Yeah, but, and, and it's like the cry for attention is like, why not work a little harder and get that attention than lop off your leg? Like, if Jesus. I was, uh, like, what? I just, I, I, like, I, some people don't, aren't comfortable with their bodies. I get it. So they, they're, some of them are resorting to like surgeries and stuff like that. And versus doing that, they would call themselves this, yeah. but still there's, there's something to be said for claiming responsibility for the effect you can have on your body, the effort you put into your body for get, getting your mental health right, for doing the, the uh, exercises to make your body strong. That's what we should, society should be pushing these people towards mm -hmm. the right steps to make yourselves healthy versus just call, call, giving it a name, saying I'm transabled and like making it an excuse. I agree yeah. 100. Like, I don't feel good. Have, yeah. I don't real, feel real sexy. Problems. Let me cut my leg yeah, off. Yeah, and, that, that's, and that's what you're getting at, right? Like, yeah, I don't yeah. feel hot enough. Nobody's looking at me. Let me pay a doctor to snip my spinal cord. Yeah, what insane. if you want to miss work? What's yeah. up? It's kind of a nice way to do it. What if you want to miss work? Get out of <laughs> well, work. You, he just made me think of this. Like, trust me, I when I see the handicap sticker and people are parking close to the building, I always want that. But I'm not going <laughs> to chop my leg off to park right I'm here right. in front of the building. It's a cry for help. And I think with the, just the entire trans movement itself, people aren't stuck. It's just everybody accepts, accepts, because those are votes. And that's we want to be all inclusive. How about getting people actual mental health like are you, you are you seeing somebody to mm -hmm. talk to you about your and jamie you killed it earlier when you were like listen i was young i was a tomboy you had your moment you figured it out and got, by the way if you didn't come out of it <laughs> fine yeah you got out of it you became who you are right now which is uh, amazing and you are who you are but that jumping on it and having parents go no no no, no. and mind you the schools are pushing it our the white house is is 100 our government is all all in and because big pharma's involved, there's money involved, and there's anything to make money. Adam, Adam Sosick said this a lot. 
follow the money. People get yep. their emotions involved way too much. Where's the money going? Who's going to benefit? It ain't the kids. It ain't the mm -hmm. parents. The suicide rates They're are just sky pawns, yeah. which is really sad because <sighs> a lot of people do need help or need that support to make good decisions. Make those I decisions. Agree. I agree. I agree. Why it's don't like, we have just mandated therapy for everybody? I th I'm t they they me. want us sick. That's they. <laughs> they do. They great, do. great question and amazing answer. <laughs> Why not? Everybody should like. Everybody should go. Sit down with somebody and talk. Mm -hmm. Just talk. Because you know you guys know what psychiatrists are, right? Yeah, psychiatrists, psychologists, one. so do I. There's somebody that you go and you sit down to and you tell your secrets and they don't know anybody you know, so they won't tell it to anybody else. Think about it. You know why? Are your you want to talk shit about your friends? Get a therapist. Get a therapist. Yeah. It, it would be messed up though. Can you imagine you're out drinking and your therapist walks in? You're like, nah, dude. I don't want you telling these people shit. Get out of here. You cannot be here right now, Sam. What's up, Sam? Uh, anyway, <laughs> but um, yeah, you know what I think it is too? It all stems. I think it's it's getting this the the being able to discipline your kids has become taboo. They mm -hmm. they are they're little ain't you can't yell at them. You can't I'm not saying I'm I'm not saying beat your kids. A little beat your children. that little spank, you have any idea how many spankings? Like uh I still have post traumatic uh, stress disorder flashbacks. <laughs> From a Burger King, when we were on the East Coast, we had metal swings that, that went down. And I pulled, I was maybe seven. I put a bunch of rocks in my shirt. Yeah. And the, the, it was like, a, I saw the slide. I went to the top. I dumped it. And there was a kid and a father in the middle of it. Oh. So they were bombarded. My father, I didn't know I was a kid. My father goes, okay, Vinny, Vic, everybody, we're leaving. Left like $35 worth of food. Drove us home. And I'm like, oh, no, this, I'm done. I remember the room, that, the heat, it was hot, it was summer, grabbed the belt, beat my ass, and guess what? I will never, ever, 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 I can't even go buy a Burger King without going, <laughs> like, I get emotional, like, because you know, you messed up. That's they, abuse. They put you, well, they, they, I needed it. It Trust built me. character. But I here's crazy. the thing, I think there's a difference between abusing your child and beating the shit out of them and disciplining them. 100%. But there's People a lot of parents who don't gentle. know. Yeah, the there's, oh, there's, trust me, there is a line, a huge line, but I think even the little, this, that little spanking goes a long way. I'm not saying knock the pants off of them. What do you think, Kelly? Because I know you want to say I, something. Like, there's just the easy way and then there's the hard way. It, yes. it is always very difficult to verbally and mentally, like, discipline your child so that they understand you. It is difficult to learn that, especially as a new parent. Um, physical, physical spanking, like, yeah, I get it. Like, pain teaches them no also. Mm -hmm. But at a certain point, like, we, we can't always be taking the easy way out. Again, with, like, giving titles to things, like, put in the work, help, like, help people versus, versus, because people can take advantage of these people mm -hmm. for saying that they're transabled. And I don't want that. I want everybody to have, I, I want everybody to have a safe environment, mm -hmm. but um, and kids included. But it's uh, important that um, communication, I think, is where society's failing, honestly. Yeah. I think yeah. so, too. I was abused as a child, and I still think the gentle parenting movement is, like, taking it too far. Okay. There is a way <clears throat> to be strict and firm with your child and express that they can't do that without being like you're a fucking ugly piece of shit go kill yourself yeah. you know no i that's feel horrible. you my dad would that's take horrible. the belt and he would do that i hate that, that noise and, and i never got hit with the belt but i made but sure i didn't no do anything to test it to even get that, that noise that sounds scared me yeah and i do but and, and and i i'm sorry that you have to go through i mean i i think the majority of the people we in this room were abused. Look where we're at right now. We're, 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 we're on the are. Vincent O'Shaughnessy show. Wait, yeah. wait, you know Teron? Teron? Yeah, of course. Okay, okay, so one of my, he, I love that guy. He came on our podcast and he was like, do you think Michael B. Jordan would be Michael B. Jordan if he wasn't abandoned as a child? All of the wow. greats yeah. were abused oh, or hurt oh. or abandoned. Oh, yeah. so, you know Stand-up comedian. Like, mind you, because now you're in that world. Jamie's in there. To go on stage and talk to people is one of the... We are messed up human beings. I admit it. I'm all, I openly admit it. I am. I'm out there. I had a crazy childhood. My mother was the rock. Like, not. Can you smoke the rock? <laughs> Dwayne. She was Dwayne, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. She identified as Dwayne Is your Johnson. father Kevin Hart? My father. <laughs> yeah, actually was. But uh, like, if it wasn't for her, because my dad was that guy. You know, he drank. He was just not. He wasn't a father. No hugging. No, no love. No nothing. Verbally abusive. Do you not need really. A hug? Huh? Do you need a hug? Let's get one in. All right, Aww. let's do it. Like, get on over here, man. Aww. It's Maybe always no. me left out. Get on in I'm here. I'm gonna be okay. You're fine. You're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Damn hard, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nobody cares. Wow, that we would healed hug. so much. That's that was good, amazing. guys. We would hug all you guys too if we were there too. But um, yeah. but guys, I I see like I think this type of show is good because a we're we're laughing, we're being. You know, we're being silly. Dodge, who I love to death, is over there. So then funny. we kind of, you know, we're touching on serious stuff, but not too crazy. But and then we could always bring it back 
And look at, we ended it with a hug. If you can't beat that. We just solved the world's problems. We solved, I was just gonna say, <laughs> now that we solve the world's problems, I, I wanna thank everybody out there for tuning in. I know I say this every week, but without you guys, none of this is happening. We have a lot of crazy stuff going on at Valuetainment. Uh, Patrick, but David, the CEO, just offered $100 million dollars to get Tucker here. We're I not playing we, games. does it. Yeah, this is, it's, it's pretty bananas. And, uh, and, I'm, and I'm blessed, and I thank God. I thank everybody that works on my show, from Maverick to Kelly to Dodge to Andres to Jorge to Mario to thank everybody, God. everybody, <laughs> to your, my audience. Hell yeah. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, guys, please subscribe. Please tell a friend. Uh, I want you guys to make sure you subscribe to Jamie and Emily's podcast. It's two girls. One Blunt on YouTube. Can you guys just one at a time tell everybody your Instagram, your OnlyFans. Mind you, I want a week free of it. I'm just going to say, you guys have like a trial period. I'm going to get that. So can you guys please uh, give your shout outs to your, to your pages? It's you all guys? you, bud. Go <laughs> ahead, buddy. Hey, go ahead, Let's sister. Get it, roll Becky. This shit. Shut the fuck up, Harold. <laughs> Becky, get me my fucking beer. Harold. Hey, bud, not bud light. All right, so guys, uh, give, give them all your info. All right. Bud Light sponsor us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll probably be better for them than Dylan Mulvaney. Obviously. All right. So we're we Two Girls, One Blunt Podcast. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, at Two Girls, One Blunt Pod. Make sure you follow us. Leave a comment. Suck or dicks. Whatever you're feeling. Yes. Doing. Yes. You can find me at the loud, at loud Emily on Instagram and at Emily Chestnut on OnlyFans. Yes. Hell yeah. And you guys can find me at the Jamie Lee Show. J-A-I-M-E. And yeah, on OnlyFans, it's the topless comic. Nice. Yes, so and you I'm, see and some I'm obviously I'm, I'm right Vincent here. O'Shana. My Instagram is Vincent O'Shana, and my OnlyFans is legs up, balls out. It's just, yeah. it's just <laughs> like yo, that. send the money, I'll take it. But all jokes aside, guys, thank you guys so much. I had thank a you freaking, for having us. Thank you for having us. This I is great. had a freaking blast. Dodge, I love you, Kelly. I love, love you. you. Everybody too. watching, listen. Things always get crazy and they get hard, but guess what? They'll get better. I'll see you guys next week. Peace and love. I'll oh, see you guys. Peace that. out.